Welcome. My name is Brandon. Please join me on this tour of Princeton, Minnesota's two malls. Yes, this town of less than 5,000 residents has two of them. How can Princeton support two malls? We'll see in a few minutes. Let's first start out at Princeton Mall. Records say it opened in the early 1980s, and an aerial map shows that the old downtown buildings were demolished for the parking lot. A sign outside the mall mentions a coffee shop, but you won't find it here. Coffee Corner moved down the street into an old Dairy Queen. I went there for a pick-me-up after filming. Two shots of espresso, please, I said to the barista, who then asked, do you want a shot of whipped cream in that? I didn't until she asked. Now I had a caffeine high and a sugar high. Most of the mall's indoor space is leased out to a thrift shop. Other indoor tenants include a salon, natural health care center, and a clothing boutique. A minute into this video, you might be thinking to yourself, what is up with this polka music? When editing this video, I noticed this flyer for Polka Soul, so I decided it would be the musical theme for the video. So many videos play sad, somber music, including my own, so let's have some fun instead. When I returned to film more footage on a cloudy Saturday, a lot of people were checking out the farmer's market in the parking lot. I think a polka band would have made the market a lot more festive. And that's it. The rest of the mall is a strip mall. Let's head a block up the street to Riverside Plaza. And here we are. Oh, let's sneak around the back of the mall. Let's mix it up. Riverside Plaza is named after the Rum River, directly east of the mall. As with Princeton Mall, some old buildings were torn down for this mall's parking lot in the late 70s, early 80s. I do want to be clear that while I make a few bad jokes in this video, I am not intending to make fun of Princeton or Polka. The malls are not much more than hallways, but they do what they were designed to do, be functional. And while I would not go out of my way to hear a Polka band, I love listening to them at Oktoberfest celebrations. I made a comment earlier about how a town with 5,000 residents could support two malls. But I think what Princeton did was smart. While they did tear down some old buildings, they did not ruin their downtown by blocking off a main street, or any street for that matter. I could see some overambitious developer making a two block long mall that would have ruined the flow of traffic and be half abandoned today. These small malls are a perfect combination of strip and indoor. The large hallway at the front of Riverside would be a great place to set up events during Minnesota's brutal winters. Hmm, uh, can't get out this way. I hope all the tenants have exits in case of a fire. Huh, there's a gate here too. Between this gate and the locked exit, you could trap someone in that hallway. That's not good. At least this mall has something to eat. Thank you for joining me on this tour of Princeton's malls. Before I go, I want to introduce you to something that I think will take the dead mall community by storm. Let me introduce you to Polka Wave. Oh.